Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Trading Tolux. In this video, I will be explaining about the new one click trader uh, that is released for the desktop. So, it is available as in software for Windows, Mac, and Linux. So, this old uh, extension that is available for Chrome will not work anymore. So, everyone must download the new version. So, you can go to your dashboard and scroll to the bottom, and you will have the download link for the Windows, Mac, and uh, Linux respectively. So once you downloaded, you can start using the OneClick Trader. Now let's see all the features and what are all the things new in the OneClick Trader. In the previous version, uh, I supported only uh, current expiry trading. Uh, but right now I have bought uh, four different expiries for the options. So you can see here. And uh, today since it's expiry, you can see the ATM is trading at uh, 1 rupees. So this time you can uh, make use of the next week options so and you can start trading in that uh, as well. So the next main feature is the market depth charts uh, to enable the market depth chart press D in the one click trader. So you can see uh, the market depth charts like this. So offers will be in red color and it will be displayed above the price and uh, bits will be green color and it will be displayed below the price. So it is like real time market depth data you see in your uh, broker uh, like uh, what is the next nearby uh, offers or bits is present. So by using this chart you will be able to avoid the slippages and also you can take some decision based on that. Now in this new desktop version I support 5 brokers as of now more brokers will be added in future and you can press the Q to open the menu like this and I am going to the home page so here you can see it's uh, Zeroda, ICC, Finvesia, Kotak, Neo and Yamstock and you can also press the Q and uh, click and navigate to your broker and trade to that particular broker so in this version Kotak, Neo and Yamstock is new so now let us see all the new features uh, there is an option to choose between MIS normal and you can sort the table ascending and descending and also to trade psychologically I added the switch to switch between rupees and the points and uh, whatever trade you have taken in the one click trader you can uh, export it as a CSV format by pressing the key now I have loaded the zero the broker uh, let me choose some strike prices and uh, to change between MIS and normal click on the setting icon so once you uh, now I am pressing the W to open the broker now I am taking a trade as an MIS so that is the default so now click on the settings now I am uh, changing the MIS to normal now and uh, again I am taking the same trade so here you can see the trade has been placed in the normal so now the next feature is like uh, you can sort the lost trade to display on the top or on the bottom so now in the default it is in uh, ascending so you can see latest trade appears on the top so I'm taking multiple trades and you can see the last trade is appearing on the top now if I change that to ascending if I take whatever trade it appears in the last so you can switch between this by uh, keeping ascending or descending as per your uh, style the next feature is to switch between the rupees view and points view so you can also use the shortcut P key so now we have switched to the points view so with the points view you can uh, trade without any emotion that it is a money so I am pressing the P and you can see this is the rupees view so it has been very useful for many members as reported so you can see the market depth chart here in the nifty future so there were lots of offers uh, near that price and once that offers has been absorbed by the buyers you can see the prices went up so this is one way to do uh, analysis in the market depth chart now the next feature is exporting all your trades that uh, you have taken via one click trader you can press the E key and uh, you can export your trade log in the CSV format like this so you can uh, save your logs like this and let me show how it looks so this is how it looks and you can uh, see what are all the trades you have taken along with the time and uh, during the end of the day you can do any analysis if you want so it will contains all the trade that you have taken on that particular day 
and uh, now next feature is the queue button so whatever page you are in one click trader you can press the queue and access the menu like that and you can switch between any brokers uh, by just pressing the queue now next feature is to track all your uh, booked profit and loss in this area and total number of uh, trades will be displayed here so next feature is like uh, previously uh, finvesia only one page login will be working so if you have to check the broker you have to log out the one click trader and then log in back now in the new desktop version uh, now as soon as you logged into your uh, one click trader you can also access the uh, finvesia broker like this you can just press the w key as well to open that broker and next feature is like i have explained uh, already you can uh, trade in the nifty 50 stocks you can trade in the four different expiry of option and uh, this market depth appears in all the chart as well you can also trade in the nifty and bank nifty future directly now let us look into the new shortcuts that has been introduced like i said you can press the d to enable and disable the market depth and you can press the i to enable and disable the iv and you can press the e to export your uh, trade logs for the particular day next key is the p key like i have explained already it switches between the rupees and points view so if i press the p it will switch to the point like this and you can press the p again to switch back to the rupees view next shortcut is the z key it closes the first position previously i had only x so uh, x used to close the last position now if i press the z it close the first position and now i press the x it close the last position i'm taking multiple trades and you can see x is closing last and z is closing the first open position and uh, to close all the position at once you can press the c key like this so next shortcut is the w so now i have loaded the zero the one click trader so while you are trading in the zero the one click trader like this you can just press the w button uh, to open the broker so like this randomly you can check uh, if there is any extra position in your broker and uh, it works in finvesia as well so i have loaded the finvesia one click trader and if i press the w it is opening the finvesia web terminal so there you can check for open position now these are all the old shortcuts this has been explained already in my previous video please refer to that and uh, next thing is keep zero on the trailing stop loss or manual trail to disable it if it is zero it will not be enabled if uh, it is apart from zero any value uh, that will be enabled can do that for uh, max loss so here you can see the max loss can be changed only every 5 minutes so that uh, if you are uh, doing some revenge trading that will be useful so you can uh, disable auto trail manual trail total stop loss total target by keeping it to the zero now uh, next thing is you can also modify the stop loss by clicking in the order table so after you taking any order you can click on the stop loss or target like this and modify the value like this by clicking also you can click on the plus and minus nearby the target or stop loss to increment or decrement the value by 1 rupees so the next thing is you can also click on the settings values to modify it so like this you can click and modify the value or you can use the slider as well to modify the values so this uh, auto trail manual trail and break even i have explained in detail already in the previous video so please refer to that now let us look into the other important things to keep in mind so first one is always verify your uh, open position is in uh, same as your uh, one click trader and uh, same as in the broker now you can see the open position is zero and uh, zero the position was zero is turned into one as soon as i took one trade so that is the number of position in the broker and this one is the number of position is a one click trader so as soon as i close you can see the open position in uh, zero has been turned into zero here i take two trades but uh, 16900 pe will be uh, shown as an 100 quantity single position in your uh, broker so it will be as one only so 
please don't get confused with that now next important thing to keep in mind is if you close the one click trader accidentally your position will still be in the broker so you can verify that in the open position area for example here i have cleared all the position but you can see in z near the z it is one it means there is some one open position in your broker so i am opening the broker by pressing the w key and i am exiting the position here so so you can make use of that open position and uh, make sure there is uh, no position in your broker and uh, now next thing to keep in your mind is if you have some open position and if you are changing the strikes by accident for example i have two open position here and if i change the strike accidentally uh, you will lose the position so please make sure if you are changing the strikes you close that position manually in your broker so even if you switch back to the same strike it will not work you have to manually switch uh, to your broker web and uh, exit the position manually like this so yeah that's all for this video i will give this pdfs and uh, my telegram channel link in the description please follow me in the telegram to get all the updates uh, about the latest improvements and releases i am making to the tool so also please make sure you subscribe to this channel so yeah thank you